multi-million dollar donation to help bring artificial intelligence in the classrooms at UMass Boston. Now the hope is that all UMass Boston grads will be familiar with this burgeoning technology when they enter the workforce upon graduation. Thanks for being with us at 5.30. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Lisa Hughes. In tonight for Paula, often new technology worsens the digital divide, but the UMass Boston donation is designed to avoid this. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us tonight, a greater Boston starts with giving everyone access to tools to help them succeed. I'm just checking her blood pressure. It's gonna get really tight, okay? As a nursing student, you prepare the best you can. You try to simulate the job. Is it hard to breathe, Millie? What if that simulation could interact with you, perhaps be almost human? The more advanced the AI is, the better opportunity we have um, for the students to already know how they're going to react in that scenario. UMass Boston is on the verge of applying AI training across the spectrum of courses. Program is made possible by a five million dollar donation from alumni Paul English, co-founder of Kayak. We're teaching regular students across every discipline what are the best AI tools relevant to their career. UMass Chancellor Marcelo Suarez Orozco likens the development of AI to the invention of reading and writing. Those were tools that changed the course of human history at every turn over the last two hundred years. Technologies also created new forms of inequality. Orozco saying groundbreaking technology often creates a divide. Wealthier schools get quicker access as underserved schools fall behind. I want my students to have the same opportunities that are taken for granted on the other side of the river. He wants these scholars to shape how AI impacts them as well as how it applies ethically to our world. The closer we get to technologies mimicking what we think are uniquely human competencies, the more we freak out. There are some people who are afraid of AI, like it's just going to steal our jobs. Orozco believes AI shouldn't be glorified or feared, but applied to what humans already do. I'm just going to put some air on to make it easier for you to breathe, okay? These interactive nursing mannequins operate off of scripts and lessons created by educators. There's got to be a little more variation and unpredictability with a real human. Can this kind of AI make her a little more unpredictable? Maybe you said something that was insensitive to the patient. She's going to react the way that the patient would react. The AI can also be applied to their virtual reality training. You're more apt to be able to know how to react. You are going to save more lives. Oh, you know At UMass Boston, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.